Hello friends, welcome to arpatakarva.com, India's finest online coaching for English literature. Today we'll be talking about John Gay, who was an English poet and dramatist. Sabse pehle we'll discuss his biography and we'll discuss one of his work, Beggar's Opera. So, beginning with the biography. Friends, the personality we are discussing is John Gay, who is an English poet, a dramatist and is best remembered for the Beggar's Opera. Gay's poetry was influenced by that of Alexander Pope, who was a fellow poet and close friend. Gay, along with Pope, Jonathan Swift and John Arbuthnot was member of the Scribblerus Club. The Scribblerus Club, my friends, uh, it's an informal club of authors based in London who came together in early 18th century. And this literary group aimed to use satire to mock all the false tastes in learning. Moving on, we'll talk about a poem titled Wine, which was written by Gray in his spare time. Again, this is a satiric poem published in 1708 about the joys of drinking. Peene mein jo khushi hai, uske baare mein kavita likhi thi. So, now we will talk about the first thing that is called the Beggar's Opera. It's a ballad opera and it's a form which combines opera with satirical play and it became very famous during the early 18th century. It is written in three parts. Gay's work makes fun of the upper class and the prevailing fashion for Italian opera. This also mocks Robert Walpole, a Whig politician, at the same time. Uh, while Walpole had many supporters, he also had many who opposed him. Or Gay, jo hai, he was joined by Jonathan Swift, Henry Fielding, Samuel Johnson and Alexander Pope in satirizing Walpole and his rule as the Prime Minister. The production of its sequel, named Polly, was stopped by Lord Chamberlain. The Beggar's Opera was successfully adapted by Bertolt Brecht and Kurt Weil in The Kai Koshonoba. It's a German word and I don't know if I am also correct in the pronunciation, but I tried. So, it's a play from the 20th century and it influenced stage musical works into the 20th century, most notably Brecht and Wheel's The Three Penny Opera. Now, this masterpiece by John Gay is said to have made rich gay and gay rich. <laughs> so friends, it is important to know that The Beggar's Opera was an instant hit and became the most performed play of the 18th century. The story begins with Peacham, who is a thief catcher and is talking about how unproductive thieves have become nowadays. Peacham's occupation is fencer of stolen goods and master of a gang of thieves and impeder of less powerful criminals. So among them is a thief named Bob Booty which is a nickname for Robert Walpole, uh, the Whig politician we just mentioned before. So, unko ek bada comedic naam diya hai, unhone Bob Booty and ek thief ka role diya hai. Peachum and his wife, Mrs. Peachum, finds out that their daughter Polly has married Mackeith, a highwayman and that too without telling anybody. So, Peachum and his wife decide that if Mackeith dies, they would become rich and profitable. Hence, they plan his death. But Polly was smarter than her parents. So what she does is she hides Mackeith in safety and the place she chooses is a tavern or we can say a bar or pub. But it was not a very effective choice. And on top of that, Mackeith was surrounded by women of questionable and doubtful qualities. Two of them, Jenny Diver and Suki Tawdry, they worked for Mrs. Peacham only. So they capture Mackeith and bring him to Newgate Prison, which was run by Peacham's friend Lockett. And here comes a twist, my friends. Lockett has a daughter named Lucy, who Mackeith had promised to marry. So, realizing the cheating by Mackeith, Lucy wants to see Mackeith being tortured for breaking his promise. But Mackeith manages to calm her anger and at the very moment, Polly arrives and claims Mackeith as her husband. However, Mackeith tells Lucy that Polly is a crazy woman and denies the claim. So, Lucy decides to help Mackeith by letting him escape by her father's keys. As Mackeith escapes, Polly goes to Lucy to talk about the situation. But instead, Lucy tries to poison her. Luckily, Polly manages to not fall in Lucy's trap and together, they learn that Mackeith has been again captured after the escape, 
this time by a drunk woman named Mrs. Dinah Trapes. So Lucy and Polly both beg their fathers to save Macheath from execution. But Macheath wants to die as he finds out that four other pregnant women are claiming to be his wife. However, his request to be hanged is rejected. The story ends when everyone joins in dance to celebrate the marriage of Macheath and Polly. So that's it from my side for this lecture. We'll meet soon in the next lecture. Till the time we meet next, happy learning, keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarva.com.